everyone, welcome back to my channel or if you're new, hi, welcome. My name is Cindy. For today's video, I wanted to create something easy and wearable. I love doing a bold lip and a simple eye makeup look when it comes to fall. So enough of me rambling. If you guys would like to see how I achieved this easy fall makeup look, then go ahead and keep on watching. So we're going to start off with the face first. I already primed my face and I used a combination of two primers. I used the Beauty Creations Flawless Stay Poreless Primer and my Giorgette Cleanser Marula Primer. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Maybelline 24 Hour Foundation in the shade 128 Warm Nude. Now since this foundation is a little bit drying on the skin, I am going to be spraying my face first. I'm going to be using my Revolution Conceal and Define Infinite 16 Hour Spray. Just going to be applying it all over my face. For concealer, I'm going to be using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I'm going to be using a combination of two shades, 27B Light Medium Beige and 20S Light Sand. Then to set my face, I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade 10 Fair Light. And I'm not going to be baking, I'm just going to be pressing the powder onto my skin. I feel like this technique makes my foundation last a lot longer, especially because I have very oily skin. So I do not bake anymore for that specific reason. I know I look really white, but we're going to be fixing that. For bronzer, I picked up this Morphe bronzer. I've never tried before. It's not a new product, but it is new for me. This is the Glam Bronze Bronzer from Morphe, and I got the shade Icon, and it looks like this. First impressions, the shade is actually really nice. I like it. To contour the skin, I'm going to be taking the BH Cosmetics Shade and Define 10 Color Contour Palette and I'm going to be mixing these two shades right here. And then with the same brush I used to bronze my skin, I'm going to be applying it with. Now moving on to the fun part, the eyes. I'm going to be taking this primer I purchased on Morphe's website. This is the P. Louise Michelle primer and I got the shade Blank Canvas. I heard really good things about this primer for very oily eyelids so I wanted to give it a try because I do have very oily eyelids. I don't know exactly how much I'm supposed to be grabbing, so I'm going to be starting off by a little bit. And if I need more, I'm going to be applying more on my eyelids. Okay, I'm just going to be applying it. I think I grabbed too much. For eyeshadow, I'm going to be taking this She Glam Smart Cookie Palette. Then with a BH Cosmetics number no. 7 blending brush, I'm going to be taking this shade right here, which is called Chichi Churro. 
and this shade is going to go all over the eyelid and also on the crease. I was expecting this shade to be a little bit lighter on the eyelids but it ended up turning a lot darker so I think I'm going to be taking a lighter shade and blending it out and making it a little bit lighter. So far, this palette is performing really good. The eyeshadows are very pigmented and they seem to be blending really good. So I am going to go in with a lighter shade. I'm going to be taking Fortune Teller, which is this shade right here. And with the same blending brush, I'm just going to go over the eyeshadow since it did appear a lot darker on the eyelid and on the crease. Next, I'm going to be curling my eyelashes. And then I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Great Lash Blackest Black Mascara. So that is it for the eyes. You guys are more than welcome to use falsies. But I wanted to keep this fall makeup look simple and very easy for everyone to recreate. So now let's move on to the lips. I'm going to be taking my Kylie Cosmetics lip liner in the shade Ginger. And I'm going to be lining my lips with this. I am going to be over lining my lips just a bit to make the appearance that my lips are more fuller. And then I'm going to be taking this Morphe Make It Big lip gloss in the shade Big Sweet Tea. Then to set everything on my face, I'm going to be taking again my Revolution Conceal and Define in Power Spray. Alright my loves, this is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you guys did, do not forget to like the video, comment and also share. And if you are not subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would really appreciate it. And with that being said, I will see you all in my next video.